I want to begin uh, this segment of our um, of our service today with a prophetic word for the nation of the Ukraine. And uh, God's given me multiple prophetic words for different countries over the last 12 months in particular, but that aspect of prophetic ministry, ministry has been active in me for some years. It's just that God's been bringing it more and more to the fore of what he's called me to do. And uh, last night as I was waiting on the Lord, uh, this is what I, I heard him say and this is what I saw in the Spirit. I believe that the Lord is saying that a nation-shaking revival is coming to the Ukraine. And uh, as I heard those words, it was as if I went into a vision where I was, it's as if I was in the cockpit of a fighter jet and I was flying in a formation as if I was accompanying a formation of these fighter jets that were flying very, very low, uh, way under any surveillance system. And they were headed straight into the heart of the nation of the Ukraine. And uh, this represented an invasion of heaven's army. And I believe that there is uh, great angelic activity over the nation of Ukraine at the moment and that strongholds are being torn down in response to the cries of God's ecclesia, the church of God in your nation. And there is incredible change coming, a nation-shaking revival. I also, it was as if uh, that scene faded and then I, I was... I was in, 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 it was like I was in the heavens and what I could hear over your nation was God was singing over your nation. He was singing a new song of identity over the nation of Ukraine. And uh, I saw a particular uh, hallmark of your coming right revival that was being released. And this was uh, extraordinary. What I saw was that birth deformities that had taken place as a result of radiation poisoning were being reversed as people prayed over those who had suffered those deformities. Everything from cancer to, to misaligned limbs to all sorts of things were just being healed because of this glorious outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And when I studied into it, I realized that um, while a number of ministries from around the world have sown into the Ukraine, I have a friend of mine, a prophet, Adam Thompson, who lives here in Australia that's been to the Ukraine uh, a number of times. Though a number of ministries have sown into Ukraine, um, God is saying that those seeds are now being watered by the prayers of the ecclesia in the Ukraine and a nation-shaking revival is coming and it will forge the nation's identity. And uh, the last part of the vision that I saw was I saw a magnificent temple being built in the spirit in your nation. A magnificent temple. Like a, a, it was as if something was being built to host the presence of the Lord. And the architect and the builders, the architect, of course, is Jesus. And the builders, uh, the angelic forces and uh, the people that were uh, praying for the nation the architect, the builders were ensuring that the foundations went deep and were anchored in solid rock. And I believe that what is being birthed in the spirit right now will shape your nation for multiple generations because the foundations are going to go deep. And I believe that, um, that the Lord is asking the church in the Ukraine to take hold of this season of sowing in the spirit, worship, prayer, fasting, all the things that you guys are doing are about to be great fruit. And uh, as you take hold of this season to continue sowing in the spirit, that's going to ensure that there is no delay for God's timing of this nation-shaking revival. I just want to pray for the nation of Ukraine right now. Lord, I thank you for what you are doing in that nation. I thank you, Father God, that that section of, of the earth that has been fought over by multiple different uh, governments and armies over the years, Lord, we just thank you, Father God, that now you are releasing something that is going to forge the identity of the nation. And Lord, we would just bless in Jesus' name what you are doing in that country. I bless the church in the nation of Ukraine to come together in the spirit, to let old offenses go, to, uh, to build something in the spirit that will last for generations of revival in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.